Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix the activation error if you are a non-UDID registered iDevice which you got iOS 7 from for free which I have links in the description on how to do that and I'll be showing you how to fix this activation error so as you might have noticed you can't restore your iDevice because you might have find my iPod enabled so what you have to do is disconnect your device from the computer and then once you're done that power it off so hold the power button and then slide the power off and then the spinning wheel will come and then it will power off now that's powered off hold the home button and then connect your iDevice to the computer so hold the home button and connect it and you will come into recovery mode now I'll say iTunes is detected iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod for it could be used with iTunes. Press OK. So now you need to redirect your restore iPod to the 6.1.3 firmware that we used before when we were downgrading. So, so if you're a Windows user, hold Shift. If you're a Mac user, hold Option and select restore iPod so I'm gonna do that right now hold option restore iPod and on my desktop I have it open iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 6.1.3 and verify the restore of Apple restore and now as you can see it's extracting the software and the as we didn't get that error message that says oh we couldn't restore your your iDevice because you have turned your um, iDevice has find my iPod of it uh, enabled so they, they won't give you that error message that you would for when you're restoring normally so you put your iPod into recovery mode and you do this procedure and your iPod should be back to 6.1.3 and now it's preparing the iPod for restore and waiting for the iPod as you can see we got the thick bar back which means we're going back to 6.1.3 which we were hoping for now it's preparing the iPod software for restore now it's verifying the iPod restore and the bar on the iPod has now started Now it's restoring the iPod software. And now the bar is finished in iTunes and now it's verifying the iPod software. And the bar on the iPod is still continuing. And now it's verifying the iPod restore and the bar is almost finished. and the bar is finished and it's still verifying the iPod restore now it's restoring the iPod firmware and now it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting please leave your iPod connected and it will appear in iTunes after it restarts okay. So now as you can see the iPod is restarting. And the bar for 6.1.3 has came again. And it says your iPod linked to an Apple ID sign in with the Apple ID was that was used to set up this iPod. So we'll wait for it to come on. So I guess I'll have to do this part of the activation process. So enter in my Apple ID. And my password.
Okay, so it says to activate it later. Okay, but I'll restore from my backup. So continue. And it's estimating time remaining. And it's restoring from backup. And it says your iPod Touch has been restored. Please leave your iPod Touch connected till it appears in iTunes. So. And now the Apple symbol has came, which means it's booting up. And the bar for the backup. And it has connected to iTunes. So I'll click on iPod. And as you can see, it's charging and it is syncing to iTunes now. So I'll wait till that finishes. And that is complete. So now I'll slide to unlock. Continue. And I have to enter my Wi Fi password again. Now my Apple ID. Agree. Terms and conditions. And now it's setting up my Apple ID. Now use iCloud back up to iCloud use find my iPod touch enable location services for that and iMessage and FaceTime and use Siri and don't send diagnostics. Start using my Apple Touch. As you can see, it's back to iOS 6, and I'll prove to you by going to general about iOS 6.1.3. And as you can see in iTunes, iOS 6.1.3. So that'll be it for this video on the activation error and how to fix it. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and my site which will be also down in the description and a video on how to get iOS 7 without registering your UDID so you basically get it for free and thanks again for watching.